Me and Jack are on our way to pick up some knives, or at least to look at some knives and get some PVC pipe for our table. I just, uh, I'm leaving John Beaver's house now. I took the uh, the uh, new stealth over there, the 920i. He wanted to use it for a day or two, and I wasn't going to go for a day or two. And he broke a handle out of one of his uh, stealths yesterday. But he's got, you know, three stealths, so that's no big deal. He just, I said, well, hell, you might as well take this 920i and X and give her a spin and see how you like her. Give us a report. Well, you know, John's a big boy. Anyway, he's got her. I just dropped her off, and I'm headed to uh, Home Depot. No, actually, I'm going to I'm going to a restaurant. Look at some restaurant knives. Guy wants me to shopping, but he wants to know how much I'm going to charge him. And he wants me to physically come by and look at him instead of telling him on the telephone. So I'm going over there to do that. And if I get him, I'll come back. I picked up a. Uh, I'll show you when I get back a K-bar knife at the uh, knife show. I think the guy brought it to me the first day on Saturday. He wants me to recondition this. It's kind of rusty and scratches and the handles in bad shape. So we're gonna we're gonna do that this afternoon. He wants to get it back tomorrow. What else are we gonna do? Tides low. Uh, let's see. We're rough to go on the bay. It's, it's I didn't take you by the bay to show it to you, but it's rough, really rough. In 28 degrees, so I ain't overly excited about going in the water today. I guess Beaver and the rest of them, if they go, they'll have to go to the land of Nala. Work in the dam zone. Alright, that's all I got. I'll get back to you. As we on our quest or something. Stand by. I got one more, two more coats of oil to put on a handle and I'll be through. I'm going to take it by and let the guy take a look at it. See if he wants me to buff out that one little dark area. It's right there. I can get it out, but it looks cool in there. So I'm, I won't leave it in there. But I've already sharpened it. It's ready to go other than a little bit of more oil. K-Bar. U.S. Navy. <coughs> the Dexters are done. I buffed the lower part of the blade out. I guess today was just a starter for tomorrow. I just got a text from Beaver. He went to the bay. He went to Nada. He's home with the mumbles. Everywhere he went was bad. The wind is still blowing, so he didn't stay much on the bag because you know he couldn't get in the water. Tomorrow I have nice pickups. Four from one lady, ten from another lady. Another lady's bringing twelve to Chris tonight. Bringing them home with her. She lives over where near where Chris works. So I'm going to have a neighborhood of 30, not quite 30 knives tomorrow. <laughs> I, damn, I created a monster here. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy. A little more oil on the handle, I'll be finished. <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell or not, but I got a Hell of a goddamn cold. Excuse my French. Coughing. And here is uh, the knife that Chris brought home. I don't know how many knives are in here. I can see a gathering of them. Stand by a minute. Let me get them out of here.
<laughs> Look at that. Good God. I don't have any there. I can them. It looks like it's some kind of set of Chicago cutleries. And these are Henkels. Henkel Internationals, like a steak knife set. I can see at least eight of these. This is a Chicago cutler. I think the ones with the big round handles are all Chicago cutlers. This one is a Trans Montana non stainless utility. I don't know anything about it. Chicago. They got an oddball here, a basic saw blade serrated style knife. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pair of scissors. <coughs> and in here, glory. Look at that. Automatic bench bait. A nice one. Don't look like it's ever cut or been used on anything. Brand spanking new. I mean, the blade has not got a scratch on it. I'll get the magnifying glass and give you the model number in a minute. I think it has cut something. I can see a little bit of tapey looking glue right along there. But if it's cut much, it ain't been very much. Box or something like that, maybe. <coughs> nice taquito. Okay. I got to pick up. Ten more knives from another lady. I don't know. Man, holy jump at Toledo. <coughs> I'll get back to you. Well, I can tell you it's going to be a nice kind of day. I just dropped off those two restaurant knives right here to this restaurant. And he had four more Caffalons. Three good sized chef's knives and a little uh, pair of knife. Now we're on our way to pick up ten knives. Hmm. We're going to be busy, Jack. Yes, we are. The second stop has got four in that pile. And he's got a block with uh, six in it. So that is ten, just like he told me. Okay, big old Jack, we got to go home. Well, the last two knives we picked up were fancy knives. We picked up a little shun and a nice big shun. This baby's got some major microchips on it. I'll give you a close-up when I get home. Major, you can see that one right there. Magnifying glass, you don't need it. Okay. There's the four I picked up from the restaurant down the boulevard, Caffalons. And then I had to go to the Virginia Beach pick up those tens from that other guy. Now here's the fellow with the blocking knives with ten. He's got four. Serrated one from Taiwan. This one's from China. And these two were Wusthoff's Grand Prix. I think that's the first Grand Prix I ever done. Here's the Bakken knives. Six in that block. Two from China. Some Wusthoffs. This big one is a Dick, I mean a uh, Victor Knox. And this one with the bone handle on it, elk handle or some kind of says it's M. Kesmol Jr. That's all I can see on it. That's a pretty cool knife. But this one here, look at this one. I didn't see it. Look at that one. She's got no tip of it. It's like a mm -mm, parakeet aircraft carrier blade. Okay. I got to go to work, gentlemen. Ladies. Now the two shuns. They're pretty little shuns. 
they look to have some age to them only because the hot handles have changed a little bit from the latest ones I've seen and the chips in them I know they're not brand new by any means stand by Well, it's 4.30. I've been sharpening since 10.30. Well, not sharpening, but picking up, getting back, sharpening. That's like being at the gun show all day. All the knives are nice and washed. I got the scissors in here. I'm going to do them now. Stand by. <laughs> 